Go. How's it going? Going very well. You? Oh. You're speaking to me or speaking to the, the crew? Doesn't matter either way. How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing fine, I'm sure. We're here. We're here, and we got a treat for you today. Oh, yes. We're going to be smoke some cheese. Yes, sir. We got a whole bunch of cheese. Uh, Troy's going to go through them and tell you what the, all these cheeses are all about. First of all, we got uh, Le Gruyère. Pardon my French. It's a firm, ripe cheese. Gruyère. 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 Wow. <laughs> okay, well, this is this guy now. <laughs> and we got some uh, Grand Cheddar, aged for five years. It looks fancy because it's in a box. Yeah. That means it's good. Oh, yeah. And what we got here, some aged Havarti. Also looks pretty fancy. Mm. Uh, it's going to be good. Mm -mm -mm. What about these ones here? Well, we got Jalsberg. Is that how you say it? Jalsberg? Jalsberg, I think. I've never heard of it, but it looks good, eh? Yeah, it does look good. Actually, it's soft and stuff. It's, ah, this is great. This is lactose-free, you know, in case, you know, somebody's got a, a lactose intolerant. That'd be perfect. And what we got here, we got some kind of cheese. What do you call it again? Uh, ripe and firm cheese? Yeah, I just kind of read it. <laughs> yeah, ripe and firm cheese. Actually, there's no name on it, but it looks good. Yeah, it looks so good. So anything that looks good, we want to try and smoke and see if it does taste good, but we'll find out. I think it will. All right. So we'll get this going. We'll open this up, and then we'll show you what we put on there, and then we'll get Get it on the smoker. We got a different uh, barbecue for That's you. That's right. All right, guys. We got our uh, nice cheese set up. Fromage. Look at that. Look at this thing. You know, and so we're gonna. What, this red thing, we should keep that on there? I know, I think so, yeah. I don't know. Like Leave it in there. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. So we're gonna put some ice in our tray here just to try and keep, make sure that our smoker doesn't go too too hot. We wanna keep it as low as possible. We're aiming uh, for 90 degrees. That's right. 90 or a little under. It's be, basically, it's cold smoke in it. So you don't want your cheese melting through that's the right. and ruined. Yeah, right? exactly. You want it to stay its form. And then you'll spend, that's the idea, anyways. Then you'll spend hours. Not in our form, though. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll spend hours cleaning the, the smoker after, and you don't really well, know. You will, not me, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you outside. We're going to put this on the bar by... I mean, uh, sorry, the smoker. The bidet. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoker, yeah. <laughs> so what you call that one again? This one? This one. Uh, La Grillade. No, it's not Grillade. Yeah, it is. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. Le Grillade. 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 See you outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll shut Okay, guys. Oh, we're all done with our cheese. Yes. We got a whole bunch ah. of cheese here. Uh, they're beautiful cheese. Look, look at the yellow on it. See that, Troy? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I just yeah. want to. <sighs> so what? Fun. Three hours we had these things on? Uh, yep. You're right. Oh three my hours. God! I can it, do math. It started with uh, like a yellow, uh, a white, basically a white. Um, Kind of color, not yellow. As yellow. And this is a smoke on them. It's perfect. We oh, turn, yeah. we flip them around halfway about, through, about halfway through. Yeah. And we smoke them. You know, we had a hard time getting our temperature down uh, below 90. Uh, we kind of, I think the average temperature may be about 95, 100. So, yeah, we soaked our chips so that yeah, way they burn we put a little a lot slower. Of ice and stuff like that. We ice. soaked the chips. So we did a few things to try and keep our temperature down. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a little bit of trouble, so that's why you see this glaze on it. Normally, you wouldn't get this kind of glaze, but that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it's it. It's going to be delicious no matter no, what. No matter what. We're going to be wrapping these in parchment paper, put them in Ziploc bags, and we're going to keep them. In the about fridge for three or weeks. four weeks, three or four weeks yeah. before we taste them, and we have them. But the reason we do that, they're gonna be infused more. That's right, and, and only that right gonna now. If you would taste larger. it right now, it probably tastes like charcoal. Yeah. But then the, the the smoke's gonna get in the cheese, and it's gonna kind of spread around. Oh. It's gonna be perfect. This cheese is amazing. <laughs> and when, when we're done with this, once we about three or four weeks from now, two or three weeks, or three or four weeks, whatever we choose. Yeah. We're gonna be as long making, as we can wait. We're really? gonna be making some what do you call them? Burgers. How do you explain that to them? Burgers stuffed with smoked cheese, wrapped in our homemade pork belly bacon. Oh yeah. What pork, else do you pork want? Pork belly. Pork bacon. Bacon. Yeah, well, it's pork, pork belly. belly. We're making homemade bacon out of it, right? Yeah, but bacon's bacon. Yeah, but it's pork belly that we're. 
Slicing in the bacon strips, I guess. <laughs> Jeez, come on now. Thanks for explaining that to me. You don't, don't forget I'm getting old. Well, I already knew that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what do you say, Troy? Do I have to say it? Yeah, you have to say it. Let's barbecue, baby. You got to get cooler. Yeah. Like that. I, I only do a couple. Oh, you got to say barbecue. Uh, boy. I said it. That's barbecue, baby. Okay, from Barbecue Joe's, we'll see you on the next episode. Signing out. Signing out.